Stay tuned for part three of Hindu's Untold Story. I remember uh, during the Tony Award, when they go around, you know, all the people, Tony voted, after the nominations have come out, uh, looking at all the performers. And Gregory Hines got sick. He got really ill. And I ended up going on for him. So I don't know if a lot of the Tony Award uh, people saw Gregory Hines in the role. They saw me in the role, but you know, they saw me in my role and his role. So, um, And for that reason, I didn't think I was going to win because I didn't you know, I wasn't being seen for the role that I was put in. But God and uh, faith has another direction. And it always surprises you and takes you different places. And I ended up winning my first Tony Award. And my date, who's my date? Debbie Allen. Woo-hoo! <laughs> so that was cool. So that was Sophisticated Ladies. Nominees for Outstanding Performance by a Feature Actor in a Musical are a versatile group. There is Tony Izzito, is the, is the leader of the more than Gaffey policemen in the current Pirates of Penzance. There is Hinton Battle, who spends more time in the air in leaps and turns than he does on the stage of Sophisticated Ladies. Leroy Reams sings and dances. Sings and dances his way through nine musical numbers in 42nd Street and gets shot in the finale for his troubles. And Paxton Whitehead, who as the Dotty King Pelinor romps through the musical Camelot without one singing a song. And the winner is Hinton Battle and Sophisticated Lady. This is something I never expected. <laughs> I'd like to thank the company of sophisticated ladies for being so supportive to me, and the producers, and just everyone uh, for being so wonderful and helping me out and helping me keep myself together. Thank you very much. Then as the sophisticated ladies came, there were some other shows, but I'm not going to talk about them. <laughs> you can read about them in the book. <laughs> but um, after the physical ladies came, uh, Tap Dance Kid, I, I believe, Tap Dance Kid. We did Tap Dance Kid, and I remember the audition process. I was auditioning for the role, the role now of Dipsy, singing, dancing. He was a choreographer, and it was really tough. And we did a lot of auditions for that role, down to the point where they had, I think it was four dipsies, for the mother, for the father, for the little kids. And during the audition, they kept switching people during the audition. This is down to the finals. Talk about a long day and having to stay up and alert and take notes and change on the dime. And But I, I ended up uh, getting that role of dipsy. That was fun. It was tough because this would have been the first role that I would have created from nothing. Although the Wiz was, but also the Wiz as a scarecrow, they had an idea in mind, but they wanted to do it with the character. But Dipsy, I you know, I had a lot of say in in the character, how to perform the songs and working with Danny Daniel for even the cast was brought in, rehearsing for him with weeks and and Leah Bass as the uh, dance captain, and his son just choreographing my stuff in the show. And Danny Daniels was a very different type of tap dancer. So learning a new style of tap. It was very intense. That show was very intense. Loved it. These kids were amazing. Savion Glover, Dulé Hill, Martine Allard, Jimmy Tate. They were, what, 10, 11 and they were they, they, these were my sons. I mean, I, 
I used to pick them up and do when they did something bad and literally pick them up and throw them in the big trash cans. And, and to this day, we still have a very great relationship. Um, I remember uh, the stage manager getting on them for, you know, drawing on the walls. So I said, oh, no, don't worry about it. I went out and brought a huge sheet, put it up on the walls so they could draw on it. So they did all their tagging and the graffiti and everything on these walls. So in the Minskov Theater, there was a wall that was full of this stuff. Which I don't know whatever happened to that paper. It was huge. I should have kept it. I had him sign it. But anyway, um, they've all grown on to have very successful careers. And that was Tap Dance Kid. There's more, way more stories behind Tap Dance Kid, but I don't really want to get into it. That'll be in the book. <laughs> so after Tap Dance Kid, what happened? I went to, oh, my second Tony Award. It's a Tap Dance Kid. The nominees for Outstanding Performance by a Featured Actor in a Musical are Hinton Battle for the Tap Dance Kid, Stephen Jeffries for the Human Comedy, Todd Graff for Baby, Samuel E. Wright for the Tap Dance Kid, and the winner is Hinton Battle for the Tap Dance Kid. Well, oh, whoa, this is wonderful. Um, first, I'd like to thank the producers of The Tap Dance Kid for sticking it out and helping us make the show what it is, and the cast for being there, and Danny Daniels for giving me such a great number to do, and uh, Leah Bass, who's been a great support, and Charlie Blackwell, and everyone that's just been wonderful, and this for my mom. <laughs> All right, thank you. Next up is part four of Hinton Battle's untold story from Behind the Stars.